an advocacy group on electoral matters is urging the Nigeria Senate to suspend its planned annual recess until the Electoral Act 2020 is passed into law. The group who gathered at the entrance gate of the National Assembly to submit its request letter says, the legislators must make sacrifices for Nigeria and there is no better time than this. Since the return of Nigeria to democracy in 1999, the conduct of elections and the electoral body have been fought with so many challenges. Ten years after the Electoral Act 2010 was passed, Nigerians have not seen much changes in the country's electoral process. They are eager to have an amendment to certain sessions of the Electoral Act this year. This group is convinced that the passage of the proposed Electoral Reform Bill can be achieved this year if lawmakers dedicate more time and zeal to the process. It wants the Nigerian Senate to halt its plans to go on its annual recess this year until the bill is passed. It believes the early passage of the bill will help INEC test run the new Electoral Act before the 2023 general elections. We are tired of seeing core members being killed. We are tired of seeing electorates being destroyed. We are tired of seeing properties being destroyed. We want free, fair, and credible elections in Nigeria. And that is why we are here, asking the National Assembly to please suspend your planned recess for 2020 until this Electoral Act amendment is passed. To be to the benefit of everyone that we have electoral justice, that we have elections that uh, reflect the will of the people, that reflect the credibility of the process, that reflect the essence of democracy. And we believe very strongly that as has already been started since the 8th National Assembly, that the 9th National Assembly is well pleased to complete this very, very laudable endeavor. The Electoral Act Amendment B 2019, which was sponsored by Deputy Senate President, is said to have passed through second reading as at November 2019. The group believes that when the Act is passed into law, it will go a long way to reduce the burden on the judiciary that have been calling for reform of our Electoral Acts. Helen Osamia Akins, TVC News, Abuja.